No, the cops weren't chasing me for speeding. Seriously though, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll have seen that I cycled the Westeros section of the NC500 last year. So for this year's big trip, I decided to ride the next section up, which is Asint, and once again riding part of the NC500. I planned this route to start at Drumna Drocket, with the first day being just a short ride to Strathpeffer. Now Drumna Drocket is a small village some 14 miles south of Inverness. It's situated on the shores of Loch Ness and surrounded by amazing places to visit as well as the Loch Ness Exhibition Centre and Urquhart Castle which are in the village itself. Here we go. Start of the ride and we've got the biggest hill I've right at the beginning. What an absolute pain in the backside. It's a monster as well. I'm not even going to try and ride it. Not with all this gear strapped on the bike. Just take it nice and easy and walk up. Doesn't look much, but it's that bloody steep. It's even hard to walk up. Anyway, let's get it done. It's the worst one on the whole five day, six day trip. Trust it to be right at the bloody beginning. You wouldn't think your own family would be your worst bloody critics, would you? Well, all I get about these videos from my wife is that my arms are too distracting because they're in the shot all the time. And my son's comments about flabby bingo wings flapping around in the, in the, in the shot. Cheeky buggers. Anyway, this trip we've got a handlebar mounted GoPro mount. See if we can do some different shots. I don't know, I don't the family an up ride, do I? So you go. Message to all my critics. Shelly B and Jimmy B. <laughs> Cheeky sods. It's a busy stretch as well. I want to get off this hill. At least when it gets downhill, I'm moving with the traffic, not walking like a standing target. Here we go. And it kicks off again. Look at that, it's like a bloody vertical wall. Back on the bike now. Try and get some speed up so I can cool off. I'm absolutely drenched in sweat. Nice coffee shop in Bewley. Be rude not to stop, really. Unfortunately, they'd packed away the outside tables and there were none free inside, so I decided to give it a miss and just carry on. Muir of Ord is a little village situated nine miles west of Inverness in an area known as the Black Isle. Every August it hosts the Black Isle Show, 
one of the largest agricultural shows in Scotland. This large agricultural area is a major producer of barley, which is probably why the Glenard Distillery was founded there in 1838. The Glenard Distillery is situated on the edge of the village. It produces Singleton malt whisky and whisky for blending into Johnny Walker brands. It's an impressive site, complete with visitor centre, if that's your thing. Big copper vessels in there for the whiskey. The smell of that field is absolutely beautiful. Go Strath Bethel, let's just find the hotel now. Nice easy first day to break my legs in. Not that, not that they need breaking in, but they do with all this baggage strapped to the back. I wasn't being cheeky, but the lovely staff at the hotel told me to bring the cycle in so they could store it at the back of the reception office. How nice was that? The hotel room was lovely and comfortable. Just what I needed for the end of the day. It was now time for a shower and some food. It's only 10 to 8. I've had my tea already, I've eaten. I'll tell you what, if I go back to the room, <coughs> I'm going to end up nodding off and falling asleep. I'm absolutely bloody knackered. <laughs> Must be the fresh air. Let's have a walk around Strath Beffer instead. Get some snacks from the, the shop and watch a bit of TV later on. It is a holiday, I do what I want. In Victorian times, Strathpeffer was a spa resort. The town grew around the sulphurous springs which were discovered there in the 18th century. Nowadays, its Victorian architecture makes it a quirky tourist destination. Strathpeffer is also home to the world's most extreme mountain bike race, the Strathpuffer. A 24 hour race that attracts competitors from all over the world. If you take a walk down the main street, you'll come across the old railway station. The building itself is a beautiful example of classic Victorian architecture. It was closed in 1946 and now contains a variety of shops as well as the Highland Museum of Childhood. As I had set off late in the day and it was now early evening, I had the whole place to myself and there was nobody around. Well the whole town had shut except for this one coffee shop which still looked open and my luck was in. They had shut 10 minutes ago but were happy to serve me coffee and cake whilst they cashed up. Like I always say, there's always time for coffee time. <laughs> 